Hello and welcome to part 21 of our uh, PHP RSS uh, building a humongous and awesome uh, tweeting device that uh, collects news feeds, tweets these news feeds, puts these news feeds on a website. Now I know some people actually go to the very end before they go to the beginning. So uh, if you're one of those people who have watched the last, who are watching the last video before watching the first video to see what we're doing, we're just summing things up here. Essentially, we built a Twitter uh, that automatically tweets, and I haven't opened this uh, in about two hours, and this is on cron, and it's automatically tweeting my stories every once every two hours because. This website isn't very active. It's about aviation. This is an update from the FAA uh, about something. So anyway, we go back to the Twitter. And what, what we've done in here is we've gone and built a website that collects news feeds. Uh, in this case, for the example, I've used 20 news feeds. I've got 406 searchable stories in these news feeds. And these stories tweet out uh, on a regular basis that you set. And we built a Twitter bot. To send those out. So anyway, on the summary, uh, if you plan on building this, it's a 20-part series that runs about four hours long. So I'm going to give you a really good piece of advice that I've used in the past. Uh, since this thing is so long and so complex, this is kind of a crazy idea, and you, you know you can take it or leave it. But I'm just going to put this out there. If you leave your computer on all night and you're one of these people who can turn something on and go to sleep and subconsciously pick up a lot of knowledge that way, here is a good trick that I've used when I was learning PHP. And I'm going to go into Google Chrome so I'm in a different account than my actual YouTube account so I can show you from the perspective of uh, an account that you might be looking at. Uh, you find one of my videos, you find the link to my name in the video and my channel. So you click on that link to the channel and then you come over here and you'll see my channel page. If you go down here to playlists and click on playlists, you'll see the playlist for the PHP RSS feed series, which is about 20 hours long. And when you mouse over this, it says play all. Okay. When you get ready to go to bed tonight, turn your uh, volume to an acceptable level, just, just enough so you can kind of hear it, and you might subconsciously pick up a lot of what's happening here. This series is about four hours long. I would just hit play all and let the series run all night long while, while you're sleeping. Uh, of course, you're going to get an ad in between each one or whatever. But the main thing about that and let's go ahead and skip that. Skip the ad. And just a second. And then you'll get into the very first one. Hi, thanks for watching my video. And they'll just play back to back, one after another, all night long. And, you know, you get it to a volume that you can stand, but you can just barely hear it. And uh, you're going to find that as you go through this series during the daytime, uh, things will click a lot easier. I've found that by following a lot of other people and uh, following their series that they have and just running their series from beginning to end. So once again that trick is just it's very very simple. Uh, I'm just gonna go here where I have that I'm following myself and I'm gonna click on you just click on the name here and then you go down here to playlists. You click on the playlist. You find the playlist that you want. Uh, you get ready to call it a night, you set the volume, you know, where it's not going to keep you awake or anything, and just run it. Just let it run for the whole four hours and listen to it. And if you got to do that night after night, do what you got to do. And then, during the daytime, as you go through it, you're, you're going to find that things might go a lot clearer and easier. But anyway, enough about that. That's just uh, some crazy notion idea that I have. <coughs> All right. So now I want to go on and give credit to the, where credit is due on this system here. Uh, I've learned a lot of PHP from a lot of really, really uh, good programmers. And I'm going to give you, I, I can't possibly give 
enough credit to to the things I've learned that have caused this system to come about and the people that I've learned them from. Uh, countless blogs and countless uh, tutorials, countless uh, YouTube videos and things like that. But I'm going to start with the big three that I can give you. And uh, you can just do searches on these uh, or not do searches. But I want to give credit where credit is due. And the first case is uh, Adam Corey, which is develop PHP is and his channel might be flash building okay and I'm just gonna click that click into that and it's well his channel is develop PHP so go to develop PHP watch a few of his videos and you'll find this guy really knows his stuff he's really really easy to listen to really easy to get along with he provides code for his stuff too and that was a really big deal for me in the very beginning uh, if you go to his develop PHP website, you're probably going to find, uh, let's see, two years ago, two years ago. He's actually on flashbuilding.com. But just Google develop PHP and go to his website and you're, you're going to find a wealth of information about PHP and very, very easy to understand explanations. Uh, everything from basic beginner stuff all the way up. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is PHP Academy. Uh, yeah, PHP Academy. You go there, and uh, this guy, Alex Garrett, runs PHP Academy. Uh, he has a tremendous amount okay, of information welcome. on his website. Uh, he's out of... Uh, I want to say England, UK, or whatever, speaks with an accent. That's all good and fine and well. One thing that I do like about PHP Academy, uh, and I did not like this at first, is he will put all of his uh, videos up there, but he won't give you the code. You have to type in the code. Now, that that's kind of a pain in the neck, but it's also very good, because as you're typing in this code, you're learning things. I mean, we can give you code all day long, and you're never going to necessarily learn something from the code or, or from from the uh, pre-given pre scripts that we provide. However, uh, as we go through certain parts of our tutorials, and I've tried to, uh, to make my tutorial style somewhat to that nature, in this last 20, uh, 20 video series, I couldn't quite do the whole thing that way because you guys would be lost as a bastard on Father's Day. Uh, so I had to give you code, and I gave you the code. And the thing about it is I want you to work with that code. But those are the big two, PHP Academy and developphp.com. If you go to them, you're going to figure out a lot of stuff. Now, the other one doesn't have a YouTube channel. It's actually the PHP Manual and that's at php.net so if you just google php that's probably the first thing that's going to come up yeah php.net and there is a manual in there that describes every function the one thing I don't like about this manual it is extremely difficult to understand but if you can get your head around it there, there's some really really amazing functions in there and that's I think a really good thing so if you want to develop PHP, you want to build in PHP, you want to use PHP, and why wouldn't you? Because if you have any programming pride at all, you're going to get, once you get involved in PHP, you're going to understand that it can build the most awesome things you've ever seen on the web. And uh, PHP couples in with MySQL and it does a lot of things that don't involve MySQL. I got involved with PHP because I wanted to uh, tie into databases. That's just a small part of what PHP can do for you. PHP can do so many things to make your website so dynamic and useful and, and desirable to go to, you would be surprised. Anyway, uh, those are the big three, and there are a lot of people in forums and blogs that have posted things that have, have uh, also helped me figure out along the way that 
you can build something that isn't even there yet. No one's actually thought of because you just combine elements of PHP and uh, put those into databasing. You pull those back out, make your pages dynamic, do things like that, and uh, and it's really a wonderful thing. Another thing I want to point out, uh, especially if you're watching this video first and you're going to go on and take a look through this, you might get into all of that and you might go, you know what, this is way, way over my head. And I understand that. If it is way over your head, uh, two things I want to point out. I don't really have the time to provide support for a free script that I've given you in terms of you know, answering each and every question and hand-holding along the way. If you need to, to learn some basic PHP, I would suggest you do that before you attempt this, uh, this RSS feed system because this is not, you know, really for the faint of heart. It's not a really simple system. It's kind of a, you know, if you know a little bit about PHP, you can pull this off. No problem. If you know absolutely nothing about PHP, you don't know how to FTP a file or set up a database, this is probably going to be a little over your head. That said, and I don't want to make a shameless plug here, I build these systems for a living. That means if you want one of these systems and you don't want to spend a month learning this and you want to get something deployed for uh, whatever my current rate for doing that is, I'll be more than happy to build a system for you. That's my shameless plug, and that's what I get out of uh, these 20-some videos and all of this code and everything. The ability that once in a while someone's going to take this last video first, and they're going to go, you know what, this is just too much for me to make, but I want to have one. And if you do, please contact me, and I'll be more than happy to give you a quote. So anyway, for the rest of you guys that have made this thing and have made it all the way through, please give yourself some pat on the back. That you, you've done an incredible job. You have an incredible system. And all it's going to do is get better the more you work on it. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you watching my series. I really do appreciate that you've subscribed. And I appreciate that you've given me thumbs up along the way. And uh, you've left comments. And you've been helpful. And you've help me to resolve some of the gaps that I've left in this uh, tutorial series. And once again, I can't thank you enough for stopping in and looking at my videos. Uh, once again, please uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and hope to see you in my next series. Thank you.